I often travel during storms, which means my eyes are often blinded by the rain. Many times, I couldn't even see what was right in front of me. One day, I finally reached the top of the mountain. I looked out with the clouds beneath my feet and only the gentle breeze murmuring in my ears. The highest mountain is a clear and enlightened heart. Here, there is no self, no hatred, no regrets, and no desires. Let's embark on a journey, for I am the breeze. We will meet again, no matter how far along the road. Life has just begun, and maybe the whole world can be my home. Everyone must be exhausted. Let's call it a day. <sighs> huh? What's wrong? You don't look too good. Nothing. Perhaps today's arduous journey is making me feel slightly out of sorts. <laughs> Main Fräulein, are you all right? Oz, curb thy curiosity. Uh, yes, Main Fräulein. Hmm. I'll see if I can find something for us to eat. Go ahead and rest if you're feeling tired. But anyone who's up to it is welcome to help out. I'll help. Oh, me too. Everyone's volunteering to help. Maybe we should too. <laughs> Whoa, hey. <laughs> I appreciate the enthusiasm, but... Uh... Her highness looks kind of gloomy. Mona, you two seem close. Why don't you keep her company for a while? You noticed it too. I was going to bring it up with you while we were preparing the food. In that case, yes, just leave it to me. All right, we'll prepare the food. Yep, this should be enough. We can grill these. Next time we pass by one of those abandoned campsites, I'll see if they have a cooking pot. We'd have some more variety then. Wow! That's such a nice idea! You might not be a chef, Shenyan, but you sure do know how to keep the diners happy. Oh, shucks, Paimon. It's no big deal. Just doing what I can. Even the crewmates of the Alcor consider Shenyan someone they can rely on. <laughs> we sure do. Hmm. Well, then, as a trusted friend, I have something I'd like to talk about. From what you've been saying, that miraculous mirage seems to have been based on my life story to date. It felt just like a dream to me. In other words, you've always wanted to make your own bonsai? Could that be it? All that was a means of granting me something I wished for? And since this happened to me, does that mean it could happen to everyone else, too? Oh, I was about to kind of say that at the end, when I'm going to end this equality, that I guess everyone's going to have their dungeon to say. I agree. But I wonder whose Mirage we'll encounter next. <laughs> I'm actually kind of looking forward to my own Mirage, if it's a dream come true like you say. Wait! You actually want something like this to happen with you too? Oh heck! Any Mirage to do with me would probably be music related. <laughs> It'd be a good chance to showcase a few tunes. You mean you'd want to do a performance in there? <laughs> Why not? I don't think any self-respecting musician could stay silent on these islands. Just look at this place. So much confidence and optimism. Shinyan rocks! Oh, um, uh, Traveler, Paimon wants to try some of the fruit growing on that cliff over there. <laughs> Let's go pick some. Mm. 
man, this was something. And I guess uh, we're gonna have to do this. Where did everyone go? Like I was saying, I guess everyone is gonna have their own dungeon and story. What in the world is this? Today, huh? And uh, a mirage bonsai? Oh, basically, lots of weird stuff today. Um, do you think we should tell Venti about it? There's no answer. That's weird. Why is he ignoring us? Well, there are two cases. Even he's drunk kaput, or the cats actually got him eventually. Maybe he got distracted. <gasps> or he forgot to bring the bomb to his performance. <gasps> or he got drunk and fell asleep under that huge tree. Hmm. Maybe we should try contacting him tomorrow. Traveler, Paimon. So here you are. Mona! <laughs> Are you all done chatting with Fischl? <laughs> Close enough. She was a little downcast. I think it has something to do with the mirage we saw today. Fischl has been very excited about this trip from the start, but I have a feeling she doesn't want to see her own mirage. Consider that we see the skin, I have a suspicion it's not gonna be one happy for her. Of us. I don't know why, but when I saw the skin, I compared it with Rita's skin. Oh my god, Rita is in the game. Why? It seems like this would be the kind of thing she really enjoys. I'm not sure at this stage, but I'll keep an eye on her. There's something else I wanted to tell you. I tried performing a divination again on the beach. My scry glass was still blurry, but I felt a force coming from within. I couldn't see its exact position, but I knew that it was changing. How could you tell that if you couldn't see it clearly? Hmm, how can I explain this concept to non-experts? Uh, oh, I know. It's like we're uh, sitting in a room and there's a crack in the walls. We don't know where it is, but everyone can feel the wind rushing in. Not only that, but the room is getting colder. Oh, Paimon gets it now! So you want to find where that crack is, right? You could say that. I need to see the crack first before deciding what to do next. <sighs> seems like similar things happen every time I'm with you. I'll attempt divination, read the signs, zero in on the target, then solve the problem. You're surrounded by all kinds of friends, secrets, and destinies. It's incredible. No, you're incredible! You helped Fischl and us solve that Leonard situation! Who? Huh? Who's Leonard? All things considered, I suppose. Let's hope we can all stick together and resolve this, like we did last time. When you say together, do you mean the two of you? Or all three of us? <laughs> okay, okay, the three of us then. Sometimes Paimon offers an insightful perspective that can be very helpful to me. You a lot, genius astrologist Mona. Yes, that's the perspective I'm talking about. You'll never meet another astrologist as clever and charming as me. <laughs> yeah, everything about you's great, except for um. Please don't laugh like Fischl again, ever. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> Friends' habits rub off on you when you spend a lot of time together, don't they? <laughs> Uh, I'll keep observing the stars. Keep in touch, Traveler. Wow. 
What now? And we have another. I guess this is for a bin, dungeon, scroll, or something like that. Ah, oh, now I. So close. I need to find two more. I wonder what's really going on with my scry. Oh, uh, leave all. Hmm, I wonder where it fits though. Are you kidding me? Okay, I guess this is gonna be a mechanic for puzzles. Do I still get to teleport up there? Yep. Okay, so I guess this is gonna be a thing. I actually was kind of disappointed because I tried to explore the island and nothing more. I mean, I found one or two chests, but nothing else. So I guess they don't reset the chest. But I guess now we kind of know why. Because you can actually find maybe in this area. I am can I? Huh? No, I cannot. I wonder. Yeah, I guess it's gonna be a big puzzle. But this is gonna be for now. And man, this this recording really got us a lot. Two hours answers. So, see you in the next part. Very soon. Aloha. Hm.